Welcome to our basic mic usage tutorial. Before I even get started, let me say that even if you've watched the video, if we hand you a mic and you look at it and you're like, I'm not sure what I'm doing here, then rule number one, ask. Keep asking until you understand it and try the controls, make sure you know what you're doing. That way we're not in the middle of the service trying to get your mic to work. The devil definitely works through electronics so god does too but if we're not careful we'll let the devil interrupt the service and we don't want to do that so first of all we have just our standard mic here this is uh, a wired mic and the only thing you need to do is push this up to turn this on to use it so down towards the cable is off if you look really carefully you can see the word off there and that is on Okay, we have another mic that's similar to that. We only use one of these right now. It's this purple mic, and it is off and now on. So off is down, on is up. But there are two more switches on this one. There's a switch down here. Okay, it says mute and power. So that ha the power button has to be up in order for that to be on. So mute is actually off and power is on. There's also a left line and mic, and that should be on mic. So you'll have a, a blue channel light that is on when you turn that on. See that, that's off. Red lights come on and then they go off when it's on. But even though you've got this on and this on, this mic is still not on unless this contraption is on. So you have to come to the back here there's a little bitty power button here. See that? And if that blue light is on, then you've got power. If that is on and that is on. So there's literally three switches for this one mic. Okay, we don't use those one very often. If, if you have the purple mic, you have to make sure all three of those switches are on. Also, if you were to accidentally hit the round button, on either the attachment to the mic or this receiver then you would change the channel and if those channels don't match then the mic will not work so both the receiver and the transmitter are set to channel 6 so when that blue light comes on you'll see that both of those are on channel 6 unless somebody has messed with them but if if one of them was on a different number then this mic would not work so don't be messing with the round button unless something's amiss. Okay, here's another mic. This is Face 3. It has its own unique controls. Over here on the side is a red button. You don't need the black button. That's a sync button. But the red button, if you hold it down, this screen will pop on and it will show you that it is on and working. If for some reason you only have one battery bar, then you'll want to go ahead and ask for some batteries, okay? So that's down to two right now. And that often happens, it'll come on and show you a certain battery strength and then it'll start decreasing immediately. So if you're down to one bar, definitely you need to get new batteries before the church service starts. There's also a button up here. It is the mute button. So red is power. So you still got the screen on, so that means I can, uh, can use this mic right now but if you push this button and the little yellow light comes on right there that's muted so you have power but nobody can hear you so push the gray button back here it says mute and that mutes you so the yellow light means nobody can hear me and just the red light means everybody can hear me okay if this screen's not working this mic is not on okay i can push the red button and nothing will happen you have to hold the red button down for this to turn on and off, right? So if I just push it, nothing happens. You gotta hold it down and then it'll come on, hold it down and it will go off. That's face mic three. You can change the battery on face mic three and push down and slide like that. That'll pop up and you can replace those batteries. 
Okay, and then here's face mic one. And uh, you'll see on this mic that you have to actually open it in order to turn it on. So there's two little triggers on the side. One on this side, one on that side. See those little things? You have to pull both of them down at the same time to open the face, okay? So just like that. There are five buttons and a toggle switch on the inside of here. You don't need to worry about all those buttons. One of them is a toggle switch, which is right here, and it says on or off. So that is now on. Let's see the screen came on, it says power on, and it shows muted. So off, screen power off. Nothing on the screen means I got no power. On, power on. Comes on and shows that I'm muted. The mute is a toggle switch on mic one. It's an Audio Technica, also Audio Technica for mic two. Uh, mic three is a Sennheiser. It's a different, different company. Okay, and the mute is a toggle right here. Okay, so green means they can hear me. Red means they cannot hear me, right? And it will show over here on the side, unmute and mute. See that? But it doesn't stay on. So if you're just checking the screen to see if you're muted, that will not help you uh, once it has returned to the battery indicator. Again, if you're down to two, really on two bars on this one, it's probably time to put a new battery in, but definitely you're down to one bar get batteries before the church service even starts, okay? So this one, red means they can hear me, and red and yellow means they can't. This one, green means they can hear me, and red means they can't, okay? So when you're done, you can turn it off. You just check with whoever's running the sound. They may want you to leave it on the whole time and just have it muted. They may want you to leave it on the whole time and leave it unmuted. So it depends on the user and whoever's running the sound if they're gonna turn you on and off in the back. So even if you've got everything right and they don't have it set correctly in the back, then still nobody can hear you. Now these two look very similar and they are made by the same company, but they work differently. So you're gonna change the batteries of this one. You have to slide those side pieces down and open it this way. This one works differently, and the power on this one works differently. So this slide right here covers up the button so you don't accidentally hit one, right? So if you, if you get this one and you're like, where are the buttons on it? There are no buttons anywhere. All right, so you slide this down, and then the only button you're gonna need is this one right here. So you hold it down, and the power comes on, okay? If you punch it once, and the green light is on, of course, because now the power's on. If you punch it once, you will mute it and the light will turn red. That's on face mic two. So just pushing it mutes it or unmutes it, and holding it down turns it on and off. That's the biggest button on the face. That's for face mic two. You have to squeeze these two little buttons, slide this down, that's the lock, in order to get to the battery. I'll show you that. You squeeze them together and it pops open. You can pull the batteries out. Just make sure you check the positive and negative so that you have the batteries going in the correct way. So they slide out, back in, close it, and slide this piece back up. So you see these two things here, you squeeze those together. If you're squeezing them both and you have this slid down, it should pop open. Okay. One other important piece of information that I want to throw in is connections. Okay, if this connection here is not tight, if this thing comes unscrewed, and there's lots of ways for that to happen, um, then you're going to end up with popping, cracking, and disconnects. Uh, so this thing connects here, 
It connects here, which is kind of a, a screw snap. Uh, it connects here. That's again, kind of a twist and pop in. But if you're putting bend pressure on these wires, uh, or if you keep messing with this to where uh, it, it becomes uh, cracked or something, if you're putting a lot of bend pressure here, then even if you're not having any problems right now, you're gonna create problems. So try to keep these wires uh, as free of pressure as possible. And so don't be wadding the thing up and cramming in your pocket or when you're wrapping it up, don't pull this thing you know, so tight that you're putting pressure anywhere up on this thing. Leave some slack as you're wrapping it up to turn it in. And uh, they, these things are not cheap. We don't, we don't mind buying them when they wear out because they do wear out. But let's not wear them out, you know, just through misuse and abuse. So be careful with all of the uh, pressure points, I guess you would call them, the joining points on all of these wires. Make sure that it's connected firmly um, and not loose because that will give you problems, of course. But don't be putting unnecessary pressure you know, particularly on points like this. That should not be bent tightly. And if it is, it's gonna, if it's not cause a problem now, it will cause a problem eventually. We still have some other kinds of mics. Over there is a yellow and red muff. And here is a green and blue muff. And these four mics all work the same. You'll see there's one little button there. And if I push it, nothing happens, okay? I've got to hold it down. When you hold it down, then a green light comes on and this mic is ready to use. So there is no mute position on this mic. No mute on the green, blue, red, and yellow. Okay? So that one's ready to use. Okay? Also, let me say this. Don't be patting on the mics or blowing in the mics. That's an old trade that you know old trick that some people used to attempt it's just annoying so just speak in the mic if you want to see it's on don't be going don't be patting it don't be going <laughs> okay those are very annoying just start speaking and if they hear you then it's working if you're too loud get it closer to your mouth it will force the sound person to town and turn it down i know that's counterintuitive but that's the truth Touch your chin with the mic, touch your, your uh, lower lip with the mic, and be so loud that they have to turn you down, okay? If you're holding it far away and they have to turn you up, that's where we get squeaks and squeals because they're trying to get a lot of volume out, okay? Here's another kind of mic. It's the oldest mic that we have, and you have to hold the grade button down just like with the other four that I just showed you, you have to hold the button down to turn this on. If I just punch it, nothing happens, okay? I punch it all day long, nothing happens. But if I hold it down, then there we go. I've got a green light. Green means go on the black mic, okay? You can mute this one. It has a, this power button is also a mute button. So you hit one time this power button once it's on and it turns orange and orange means they can't hear me okay so if it's red that means the battery is dead or dying time to get new batteries and then hold it down to turn it off okay so pretty straightforward if you're ever in a service and your mic is popping and cracking and, or it's not just not working, just go get a different mic, okay? Especially if it's a Sunday morning, you know, we're online, so uh, you may not like mics and you may be loud, but the people online can't hear you no matter how loud you are. So just go grab a handheld mic and uh, turn it on and you'll be ready to go. This is the mic that I use. It's a Sennheiser also. Uh, usually no one else uses this one, but if you were to use it, you have to open it with the two triggers on the side. These are buttons. They're not toggles that you slide down. You squeeze, and it'll pop open. You hold this button down to turn it on, and the light will come on, and then you have a mute button here, 
And so on this one, green is hot and orange is muted. Again, pushing this button one time, just a little quick push means nothing. It does nothing. Okay. So you have to hold it down to turn it on or to turn it off. Okay. Now one more set of mics to show you. And these are the lapel mics. These are the ones we've been having a lot of trouble with lately. And uh, there are multiple reasons for that. So you can see this is lapel mic two. And that's lapel mic one right there. Lapel mic one. And one of the things I want to say about these mics is the position of the mic itself on your clothing is very important. Do not point the mic down. Do not point it to the side. Okay, if you come in from the, with the way this clip is set, if you come in from your right into the left, find something that you can clip it onto, whether it's your necklace or your uh, button uh, slide uh, spot on your shirt or what, whatever, so that it is under your chin, just three or four inches down and pointing up towards your mouth, okay? So we want to avoid sound problems as much as we can. So the placement of the mic is certainly important. For this mic, which I've never used, there's a toggle switch for on. You see the green light has come on and there's no screen anywhere to tell you what's going on. Okay, so all you've got is a toggle switch and a power light. That's it. So simple, straightforward. And again, speak up. When you are using one of these mics, let me put this thing on and walk to the front and show you what I'm talking about here. When you put one of these mics on, and you're up here speaking. Uh, the point is not for you to hear yourself, okay? That's certainly information that you can analyze, but the point is for everybody else to hear you. So let me challenge you to speak as if you're speaking to the people in the sound booth, or speak as, you're, as if you're speaking to the people in the back row or at the back door, all right? And if you're having uh, ringing problems, feel free to just March up on the stage because you're going to be behind the speakers. If you're on the stage, you're just less likely to have hums and squeals and squawks and squeaks and feedback problems. So if I'm speaking to those who are at the back door as if I have no mic, then whoever's running the sound booth will have very little problem adjusting the mic properly for the room. Okay. If you have to change the <clears throat> batteries on lapel mic one or two, there are these buttons on the side. You simply push in, not a toggle, just a push and squeeze. They're really not even buttons, they're just clips that you squeeze a little bit and pull out. And there are controls in here that you should never need to mess with. And, but here's how you would change the batteries, of course, just by popping that open. Replace the battery on this black mic. You have to unscrew this thing right here. It pops off. And then you'll notice this thing right here pops up. locked into place so it pops up like that right there and you can change the batteries again make sure you put them in the way the ones that you took out were so then that closes back down snaps into place and you can screw it right back on okay that's for the black mic don't over screw it you don't want to crack it For the red, yellow, blue, and green mic, same thing. I'll screw it just like that. And on 
of these, which I've never changed before. If you pull, put your thumb nail under the gold, you can pull those out and then replace them. So one comes out of each side. There. And then put the cap back on. Keep batteries in the back. I also usually keep a, bat a pack of batteries up here in my chaos. So double A's, everything uses double A. And even this one, again, this one you push the buttons, pops open and you can replace the batteries. And put it back together. So again, let me remind you of what I started this video with. The information I started with was this. When you pick up a mic or when somebody hands you a mic, if you look at it and you're like, I'm not sure where to put this, or I'm not sure how to turn this on or off, I'm not sure if it is on or off, or if I'm not sure how to mute it or unmute it and so on and so forth, then ask. Come to me, go to Tony, uh, go to somebody who's in the sound booth and figure it out because we don't want you to be standing here trying to lead in prayer. See this thing's humming because I'm standing right in front of this big, huge woofer. Maybe you didn't know that was here, but it's a massive speaker under there. So, and if you come over to the sides and you're standing in front of this speaker or that speaker, sometimes those can provide feedback as well, which we do not want, okay? So be patient with the people who are running sound Everybody here is a volunteer, and uh, we only have a few who have some expertise, but they're back here running the sound, and they have 16 channels to look at here, and if they hit that button now, they're completely different. That's 16 more. That's 32 channels, plus they have these, and we don't use them all, but uh, yeah, that's close to 40 channels that they're trying to control back here. And if anything's off, then uh, sometimes everything's off. So be patient with them, but make sure that they're not trying to get something out of you that you can't give them because your mic's not on or your mic's muted or because it's in the wrong place or because you won't hold it close enough to your face or uh, because you're just simply not speaking loud enough. So keep that in mind. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. None of us are perfect but we can all improve and that's what we want to help you do.